Hi, health students. Mr. Pistel here. Hope you're doing okay during this pandemic. Um, we're continuing with our violence and injury prevention unit. So, of course, that brings us to violence, which is a very serious topic. And today, I just want to give you an introduction to violence. Like, what is violence and what are the types of violence? So, definition of violence. Violence is the threat or use of force that hurts or frightens a person's damage or property. So you probably already knew that hurting a person on purpose is violence. Um, it's an intentional injury. Um, but also if you damage somebody's property, that can be violence. For example, if somebody's really angry and they throw a vase across the room and it hits the wall and it uh, breaks, then that is violence. Um, violence can be physical. As I just said, those two examples are physical. Um, hitting someone or throwing an object uh, and breaking it, those are both physical. Violence can also be emotional. Um, so it can just be things you say. It doesn't always have to be physical. Now I'm going to go through the types of violence. I'll read you the definitions over the pictures. So the first type of violence is assault. Um, you've probably heard the term assault and battery. Assault is when you threaten to hurt somebody. It's not actually um, hitting them yet, but it's threatening to hit them. So here we have a picture of two people um, maybe talking to each other, saying that they're going to hit each other, and that would be assault. So threatening to do harm or injury to another person. Let's move to the next one. Battery in court actually means making physical contact with somebody, um, doing physical harm or injury to another person. Okay. Um, child abuse is neglect or mistreatment that results in intentional harm or injury to a child. Um, so there are lots of forms of child abuse. Let's say somebody has a child and they just don't feed them or don't arrange to have them food whatsoever. Um, I know New York City is giving meals to anybody who wants them right now, children and adults actually. Um, but also, it can be almost anything that hurts a child, physically or emotionally, would be child abuse. And that's something that somebody can go to jail for, obviously, uh, like these other forms of violence. Okay, next one, dating violence. So, when you come to the age that, you'll, that you're dating people in a few years, maybe, um, some relationships are bad, and sometimes they lead to violence. Um, it could be the guy being violent with the girl, the girl being violent with the guy. It can go both ways. Um, it's a very controlling relationship. It's, it sometimes turns physical, uh, but again, violence can be physical or non-physical, physical or emotional. So this guy, guy is saying, don't make me come find you. Bad relationship. Domestic abuse, this is similar. So this is not dating, but um, in the family, basically. Um, doesn't have to be just husband and wife, but um, it's basically within the family, there's violence um, in some way. So it's either, maybe it's, the husband hitting the wife, or the wife hitting the husband, or the husband hitting the husband, or the wife hitting the wife, um, or it could be child abuse. Um, but it has to happen within family relationships. So physical, verbal, emotional, or sexual abuse that happens within family relationships. Um, I actually didn't include the various types of sexual violence today because that seems like a whole, whole nother matter whole nother level that we can discuss later. 
verbal and emotional abuse, I lump these two together because they're both non-physical forms of violence. So emotional abuse is doing or saying things to humiliate, control, embarrass, isolate, or put someone else down. Um, so sometimes you might hear emotional abuse in school even. Um, verbal abuse, similar. Using spoken or written words to threaten or hurt another person. So just you know, yelling at somebody, demeaning them. Hate crimes. So this is a picture of the Ku Klux Klan, um, which is an organi organization in the South that terrorizes um, African Americans. And hate crime is basically, uh, let me read you the definition. A hate crime is a criminal act that targets victims based on their race, religion, sexual orientation, disability, ethnic ethnicity, nationality, age, or gender. Um, recently, we're seeing hate crimes um, because of coronavirus, actually. People sometimes, um, Chinese American citizens are being attacked in, let's say, Chinatown, New York, because people have anger about corona coronavirus. So it's a hate crime, and that's wrong. Terrorism, sort of related because some hate crimes are terrorism, but terrorism, as we know, is the use or threat of violence to instill fear or control the actions of many other people. So the September 11th attacks we know are terrorism, school shootings are terrorism. Basically something done that tries to scare all of society, violence towards like all of society. And that was actually my last one, so let me explain the assignment. So your assignment is to do triple matching. So you're going to match the type of violence with the definition with the example. Again, ma triple match the vocabulary word to the definition to the example, and those are all in different fonts. I believe there are eight vocabulary words, um, so you're gonna have to drag these around and get them in the right place. Um, stay safe out there, guys.